Hail Swarm. So you've just hit level 50 or 55 or returned from a break and you're standing around the fleet trying to decide which is worse, returning to Voss or listening to fleet general chat. We've all been there. However, this video series will teach you how to complete slightly less mind-numbing activities so that you can be rich, well-geared, and possibly even well-liked. To start, go to your ship's hangar and look for the futuristic Nickelodeon with the holographic Imperial flag. Clicking on this will allow you to instantly travel to any of the game's many repeatable daily areas. For this video, we're going to start with what I consider to be the easiest of the still worthwhile dailies, the Black Hole. If you're between levels 47 and 50, you might want to consider the old dailies on Belsavis and Elum for the additional experience points, but they will not be covered in this series. The, there's a transmission from the Black Hole. The General wants it put through to you. So you're the ghost who's been haunting my people. I'm Councillor Torvex. It's time to end this. You want the Black Hole facilities destroyed, and you know I can hold out forever. So, we negotiate. Your forces can't stand against us, and the Republic is closing in as fast as we are. When the Republic realizes it can't beat me, I'll be ruler of Corellia. This is your last chance. By the end of the day, the Empire will provide me with shield generators, combat droids, anti-air cannons, and access to orbital satellites. In return, I will release one-tenth of my hypermatter stores to your fleet. And you will depart this system forever. Desperate son of a sow just made his biggest mistake. We traced the signal and got a beat on his position. What do you say to killing Councillor Torvix? General Konia, you may have lost Karelia, but there's hope for you yet. You're too kind. Torvix is using a radiation vault as his command center. Impervious to portable weaponry, but not to a hypermatter detonation. Take out his personal guards. Let him know you're coming and he'll seal his shelter. Then flood the hypermatter pipelines and turn him into ash. Councillor Torvix will die. Corellia will burn, and the Republic will be left with nothing. All I could hope for. I'll be in touch during the approach. Scorch his bones for me. As soon as you arrive, you're going to want to go into the building immediately to your right and take the elevator down. Take a left down the big ramp in front of you and run to the mission terminal straight ahead. That big group of NPCs on your left will start the heroic. Okay, so the first mission you're going to do will involve running to every group of NPCs in this building and using a scanner to identify three spies. The amount of other people doing this quest directly affects how quickly you can do this. The device has four states and plays like a game of hot and cold. If you're within 15 meters of a spy, you'll see a large green ring. If you're within 10 meters, you'll see a smaller orange ring. If you're within 5 meters, you'll see a small red ring and tag a spy. Otherwise, you get the common small white ring letting you know that you aren't even close. Next, take the elevator back up and run straight ahead. You're going to trigger a three-stage area quest. I prefer to go left here as I quickly knock out three quests, but there's no wrong way to do this. Start by killing the NPCs in front of you and just move up the side of the street, killing everything. Once you've killed 20 Torvix NPCs, the quest will update and you'll need to destroy 6 of Torvix's crates. These spawn in static locations and there's almost always one near every group of NPCs. After you've destroyed the crates, you'll need to head to the southeastern corner of the map to spawn the final NPC of the area. By this point, you should be ready to turn in asset liquidation and control the battlefield. So from here, run west a bit and go around the broken fence through the green force field into the instance for Glow. Glow is really easy once you learn the importance of the anti-rad injector. Take out the first group of enemies and then hit the control panel they were guarding. Now run down the ramp, popping the anti-red injector before you enter the blue fog. 
Run over to the side and dispose of both sets of enemies and activate their control panels before running up the ramp opposite of the one you just ran down. You want to make it a point to avoid standing in the blue fog as much as possible as it eats up your ad charges. Knock out these enemies, hit the final control panel, and you're done. Your anti-rad buff should be just about over now, but you should have looted another. So once it ends, pop it and run back across to the ramp that you originally came down. Hang a right and take the elevator out of the instance. Next up, we're going to head north from this area to an instance just south of the covered bridge leading into Republic territory. This is Hypermatter Directive. Your goal here is to tag five boxes. You can either grab all five in this instance, or four in the instance and one just outside. The inset shows you where this one box spawns. As you try to tag these boxes, probes from the ceiling will drop down, and if you're spotted, an elite droid spawns and attacks you. Three of the boxes in the instance you can tag while staying just outside of the range of all nearby probes, but for the final two, you will be detected while you're trying to tag them no matter what you do. This is why some people prefer to take the one box outside. The final challenge of the black hole is the heroic four, called the end of Torvix. When you first enter, make certain you only cross the threshold of the instance as several mobs will load in all around you. This entire instance is soloable if you're a stealth class or doable with 255s and their companions. Still, for speed, most people will attempt to get four players to do this. There isn't anything special to know about this heroic, just clear the mobs that are in your way. This is the first of two areas where players prefer to skip a set of trash mobs. Follow the path shown, jumping over the furniture, and then hug the wall through the doorway. After killing the following mobs and getting the objective item from the mini-boss, you'll leave much the same way. The second set of skippable trash mobs is much easier. Just follow the wall to the left, hop over the crates, and you're safe. This is the final battle of the heroic. At first, four mobs will spawn on the ramp, followed shortly by waves of mobs directly across the map from them. When the waves end, Torvik sends an annihilation droid after you. This is a simple tank and spank fight, but be aware of a large purple AoE that the droid places on the ground. Any player standing in it will be stunned for several seconds, which is really more annoying than it is dangerous.
Once the droid is down, one player will run over to the hypermatter controls, hitting them from left to right one, three, and two times, respectively. Activate the control panel that lights up afterwards, then run to where the waves of enemies just spawned, and jump into the blue fog to get a repair-free ride back to Imperial Headquarters. So that's it. Now you know how to run Black Hole like a true swarmer. I'll see you in the next video where we head to Section X.